Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tea with Tea. I am minus the tea today because I'm sitting on my couch and I'm afraid that I'm going to spill something. So it's a tea with tea minus the tea. Excuse the lighting, I wanted to make this video earlier in the day but um, I, I just got so busy and, and time ran away from me that um, it's now 4.30pm and, and I'm only getting to make the video. So what I wanted to talk about today is, is my experience from last weekend. If you saw my weekend vlog, you would have seen that I went to a seminar. And I got to know about this seminar through um, my college. I'm studying nutritional therapy. And they sent out a link to say that this workshop was on if anybody was interested. And the name of the workshop was the Full 360 Series. So this is the book that I got. And this is Alison Canavan, her name is. Um, and she's um, a health and wellness coach in Ireland. So I read up about it and it was all about self-care, um, positivity, mindfulness, with a bit of yoga thrown in. And I thought that this was really interesting because self-care and mindfulness has been on my mind since the, the very start of the year because I want to try and incorporate these things into my life. I want to be able to learn self-care and mindfulness to um, to really bring myself back into the moment and um, to learn to love myself because as anybody who is currently overweight or who has been overweight, self-esteem is the biggest issue Besides all the health stuff, mentally, self-esteem is the biggest thing. Because when you've got strangers heckling you on the street, it's really, really difficult to keep your self-esteem very high. So I never really looked after myself properly. Um, I really didn't stop to think about what I was telling myself, the words that I was using with myself. Um, just how bloody mean I was being to myself because I was I was saying horrible horrible things and the biggest thing that I learned was that we should never ever say to ourselves something that we wouldn't say to somebody else right so so you might stand in front of the mirror and say to yourself oh you're disgusting you're so fat look at those rolls look at the the jiggly fat but you would never dream if you're a nice person you would never dream of saying that to another person. So the whole premise is that we shouldn't say this um, to ourselves. So what this, this seminar was, was giving us the tools, basically a framework um, for learning self-care. And self-care is especially effective for people who have mental health issues or, or anxiety. And it's about teaching us not to run away from negative feelings, that we shouldn't fear feelings. Because when we fear feelings, um, we suppress them. And then suppression of feelings can lead to um, destructive behaviours. So we were taught about gratitude. Um, we each got a little gratitude stone to bring home. And it's funny, I saw it in my bag this morning. I kept it in my handbag. And I saw it in my handbag this morning. Um, just as I was about to go into my French class, I saw it. And... I stopped for a moment and I said, actually, I'm really grateful that I'm getting French lessons. Mm -hmm. So for me, this gratitude stone, while well, we, we did giggle at, at the concept of a gratitude stone at the time, um, it's, actually, it's actually really worked because it's come back to me when I saw it. It came back to me and, and made me realize that I wanted to be grateful. So the big message for me out of this weekend was... Um, to be really, really mindful of how you speak to yourself. And in the book, there's this thing about the map of consciousness and the vibration of our thoughts. And I thought it was really, a really interesting concept. Now, even if you think this is absolute crap, I still think it's worthwhile having a look at the, the, the different vibrations of the words we use just to change how we speak to ourselves. Because Regardless of whether you think it has any effect of your over your energy, your cells, and, and the structure of your body, the the the, um, the energy of your body, it's still going to be good for your mental health to be able to speak nicely about about yourself to yourself. So there's this really nice chart in here, and it's basically what the frequency is of the emotional state we're in. So things like 
so uh, shame humiliation and misery is down here at the very bottom and, and has a frequency of 20 so whatever that is um and then up at the top you've got peace is the second one from the top and peace is at 600 so obviously it's a much much higher frequency so if we're able to use the words that are kind of higher frequency so anything that's not in red so are the higher frequency words are going to be good for ourselves and are going and are going to be um really positive um and have a positive effect on on ourselves and our mental health so i think it was really a worthwhile exercise for me to go to this seminar again it's the full 360 series anybody who's watching from ireland there are still um seminars going to be available in i believe in um in kilkenny and in cork maybe Aklone, i'm not sure i'll put the information in the description below um just so you can understand when it is but i really really recommend it it was really lovely and at the end we did a group yoga session and it was my first time doing proper yoga and i absolutely loved it i loved 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 it so i'm going to join my local yoga club here and start doing it um hopefully next week so that's it really um i hope this video was useful for you thank you very much for stopping by and i'll see you again next time